would you eat meat again no um so like there's maybe like two answers that i'll give to this um i'll go with the um kind of ethical answer first it's like as a vegan myself like i pro oppose oppression of like all living creatures you know whether that's my fellow humans or whether that's animals and you know i, I can't see any human consenting to themselves being put into uh, the food chain you mm -hmm. know that, let's say you know i mean there, there is that kind of whole thing about like consensual cannibalism you know we won't get into it's a weird one <laughs> wait what is um, that um so it's, it's these weird stories about when it's like people they'll like meet someone on reddit and then they'll like sign a contract to say like oh like you can cut off bits of my flesh and eat me and i'm okay with that what it's, it's crazy it's absolutely mental um wow but yeah i guess like getting back to the, uh, the kind of animal liberationist side of it is you know i do not think that it would be morally acceptable to me to consume an animal regardless of you know the, the supposed welfare of it you know when i can just as equally Mm. achieve nutrition uh, delicious foods that involves so much less exploitation and i think that's a critical point i think vegans can get on a moral high horse and say that you know our diet has no exploitation in um but let's be honest like the way the world's set up the way food chains are set up there's no way we can consume without exploiting somewhere along the line mm. but it's about minimizing that as far as we possibly can um, and a plant-based food system would do that. And then, I suppose that brings like the kind of ethical moral side of that answer um, to an end. But then the other thing is, let's say we lived in a world where all the meat produced was like free range, organic, grass-fed. One, that is the single worst animal product when we look at environment. So when we look at land use, water use, greenhouse gas emissions, single worst. And then what would also happen is because of the vast amount of resources needed to produce those products, the prices of that would skyrocket and there would be very low availability. Mm. You know, it's something like for the US's meat consumption, if all of that was free range, just for pasture, you would need land two and a half times the size of the US, which, you know, let's just look at the maths, doesn't work. Mm. Wow, okay. So what you'd end up with is your top 1%, your top 5% being the ones that can afford yeah. meat, you know, and it, it brings in this whole other kind of class and financial kind of issue um, as well. So kind of either way you look at it, it, it just wouldn't work mm. kind of from a practical perspective and like obviously contentiously for me uh, from a moral perspective as well. I, I just still couldn't abide by that.